Hey y'all, Jim Panky here. Got a project I've kind of been putting off and had some questions about it and I thought, well, what a better time to do it and share this experience with y'all. I got this RKOT25 and I've been playing, I really like it, but I wanted to make some changes and just kind of make it suit me. But some of the things I'm gonna do here are things that you can do that will help you set your banjo up the way you want it set up. And so this is open back, but these things apply whether you've got a bluegrass banjo or what, or open back or, you know, with a resonator or with, without, it, it all applies. So this is just something that you, I know you can do. I did this the very first time. I've probably not been playing more than a couple of months. And I decided that I wanted to change the head of my banjo. So we're gonna do that. We're also gonna change the tailpiece today. I'm gonna put a different bridge on. And I'm gonna walk you through that process. And if you can turn a wrench and put on a set of strings, you can do this, I promise you. It's not, it's not complicated, it's not difficult. And I know I say that in a lot of my videos, but I promise you, this is totally something well within your skill set. I promise you. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the strings off of this instrument and that way we can take the bridge off and we're going to get ready to change the head on this banjo. What you're going to need, you're going to need a banjo head. You're gonna need another set of strings. You're gonna need a wrench that will turn these uh, tension hook nuts. It's quarter inch on this one. You can use a nut driver. You can use fancy little wrench like this. I like to keep some angle cutters to uh, cut my strings when I'm when I'm done. And hopefully that's all I need. Oh, and I, I've chosen the uh, Pisgah Hawk tail uh, tailpiece. So that's what I've chosen to put on this, put on this banjo. And then I'm gonna walk you through the process and then I'll let you hear what it sounds like when I'm done. <laughs> hey y'all, if you like this sort of thing, be sure to hit that like button. And if you wanna subscribe, there's a subscribe and Maybe hit that uh, bell and get notifications. That'd be awesome. And if you don't like a cool shirt that says, hey, y'all, Jim Panky here, visit my Teespring. All right. Thanks for watching. All right. So here we go. Oh, maybe get you something to drink while you're doing this. This will take you a little while. Uh, plan yourself an hour. It may not take you that long. But if it does, then you, you know, you know, you're going to be without your banjo for a little while. You're going to take it apart, keep everything organized, and we'll, you, you'll get through this. So we'll see you very soon. So we got the strings off the banjo. The next thing that we want to do, we can take this tailpiece off and we'll take off the armrest. Just going to need a quarter inch wrench to do that. I'm going to turn my banjo over. Uh, sometimes it's nice to have it on something padded. And so you can lay out, you know, a blanket or pillow or whatever. This table is fairly clean. And so I'm really more, uh, really more worried about scratching the table than I am the banjo. But just, just turn your instrument over. And then you can... Take off your tailpiece. Oh, this is my current my current favorite banjo stuffing is a just a plastic shopping bag. All right, and so we'll take the tailpiece off. So just loosen this bracket here. Shouldn't be very tight at all. You can take that right off.
So there's your tailpiece. You can put that bracket, uh, the nut back on the bracket. Save this. You may have a banjo later that you want to put a uh, Presto tailpiece on, like this one, or whatever tailpiece you're taking off. So hang on to that and save it. So we just lay it to the side. So we've got that off. Now we need to take off the armrest. So it uses the same, uses the same quarter inch. So just loosen that. I put a little piece of leather under here, just makes it a little quieter. So lay this to the side. And now we're ready to start taking the, the brackets off. There's no particular order or any any way in particular that this goes. We're just gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna loosen them all up all the way around. So a quarter inch, and we're just gonna spin them until they're all loose. You may hear some clicking and popping, that's normal. And at some point, you know, you may break a banjo head. They sometimes a break around the edge. Or you may just be like me and decide, hey, I want to try a different banjo head. So this is this is the process of doing it. So I'll just do this. I'll see you here in just a little bit. You don't have to take these brackets all the way off. You don't have to take these nuts all the way off. You just want them loose enough to get them off of this tension hook. And I'll show you that in just a second. So that's almost loose enough to take off of that. And if if you do, if you do wind up taking it all the way loose, that's okay. See, that's just that's just perfect, so that's loose. And so that's what we wanna do with each of them. All right, so once you have all of these loosened up, you can turn your banjo over. I, Hang on to your tension hoop and just, just flip it over. You may, you may have loosened a nut more than you should, just like I did. Hang on, it's down here. So hang on to all your pieces, and you'll see that we can now we should now be able to take off the tension hoop and the head. It's all all in there like that. So. There we go. We've taken we've taken off this old head. Just lay it to the side, and then there's our tension hoop. If you look at the tension hoop, you'll see this part's got a little wider notch, and it fits right there where the neck goes. And that's that's how you you, you know you're going to put it back in the right spot. If you put it in the wrong spot, well the brackets don't meet up. So that's where that goes. Simple enough. All right. So we've got this part and we're ready to put our new head on. But now you can see what the inside of your banjo looks like without the, without the head on it. There you go. All right, so we gotta put our new head. So this one, still in the package. We'll take it out. This is a Remo head. I'm putting a frosted head on here. And I know it, it, it'll wear more than that uh, fiber skin that came on it uh, but I just I like I know I like the sound of these heads so I'm gonna I'm gonna try it if I don't like it we just reverse the process we put a new we put a new put the old head back on or try something different so I'm gonna mount that on there Okay. And then our tension hoop. Make sure everything's fairly straight. 
And then all I want to do is get just a few brackets on here. Yeah, neatness counts, but we'll, we'll get a few brackets on here and then we can snug it all up. There, we got one bracket. And so we're gonna do the rest of them. And I like to sit and do it, so we'll do that. But that that's all you're shooting for. Just keep everything fairly straight. And just get a few all the way around. Try to get a story. Not hard. And you don't you don't necessarily have to tighten it up much. You just you just want it snug. We're gonna make sure it's nice and even all the way around. Some people use like a you can buy a drum dial. Uh, I've always just kind of eyeballed it, just you know made it, made it look right. If it looked right, chances are it was right. And let me get a couple on this other side now. And these aren't tight. I'm just I'm just taking up the slack if I can. All right, let's do this one where I loosen that nut too much so we will get that taken care of. And you you can take the nuts all the way off. I, I just I just generally don't. All right. So once I have a few brackets on here around it, I look, make sure everything's straight because right now you can still kind of move everything just a little bit. Make sure, make sure it's straight and make sure your uh, tension hoop is where it needs to be. this point in the game you can kind of adjust it just a little bit I think that looks pretty good so now we are ready to put the rest of those brackets on there so I'm just gonna do that enjoy <laughs> enjoy watching mr. speedy Gonzalez here do this <laughs> just kidding Now what I do is after I've got them all, after I put them all on here, you can see they're all attached. Now I'll, I'll go around and just make sure nothing's just absolutely slack. I'm not trying to tension them. I'm not trying to, you know, tighten the head really. I'm just making sure there's nothing just incredibly loose at this point, nothing rattling. And question comes up all the time well how tight should my head be yeah that's a good question and I never really thought about it much I, I generally tighten my banjo head until I like the sound of my banjo and I've, I've changed my preferences over the years sometimes I there, there were times I really like my banjo head really tight and then there were times I like my banjo head really loose. It's up to you. There's not a right answer there. It's your, it's totally your choice of how you want to do it. So you know, don't, don't buy into, you know, it's got to be a certain note or a certain tension or whatever. It, it is what you want it to be. So we are, we've got a banjo head put on. I like to put the little logo down here toward the bottom. Why? I don't know. You know, I, I just kind of covered that up a little bit with the, with the tailpiece. But you can put it up there prominently in the front if you want. That's okay, too. Some people like that. I've seen them 
where they uh, stuck over here on the side somewhere. So that's okay too. So now we've got to put our tailpiece on. So let's open up our tailpiece and see what we've got. This one is from Pisgah. Uh, I ordered this. I wanted something a little more traditional, like for old time banjo. It comes with a, it comes with a bracket and a nut. To hold it all on, should fit my hardware okay. And this, this one looks a little different. And I'll bring it over to the camera and let you see what it looks like. But it looks like this. There you go. All right. And that's going to go right there. I think that'll look pretty good. So, uh, same process, but backwards. We're going to use this bracket that it came with. And I'm just going to put it back on the banjo here. So now we have our new tailpiece on and we're ready to put strings on it. The bridge that came on the banjo was just a standard maple with an ebony top. It was fine, it sounded okay. But I've got this pretty one made out of koa with a uh, purple heart top I got from Rick Sampson and it's, it's pretty bridge. So I like the looks of it, so I'm gonna use it. Uh, so that's the bridge I'm going to put on there. So we are ready to put strings on. So I'll go ahead and get that done. And we'll see you in just a few minutes. I'm putting on a set of uh, the Dario nickel plated uh, medium strings. So I'm going to use these. And use, use whatever you like. <laughs> so that, that's what I'm putting on in case anybody wonders. Whenever I have all my strings off the banjo, I always like to start with my third string and go ahead and get that on. Kind of holds everything <laughs> together. On the Pisgah, I uh, go under under that. And then uh, you've got a loop back here, or a little peg. And I just put the loop on the peg. Kind of hold some tension on that. Just a little bit, not much. And then, we go ahead and string. I'll string it up just like I did on my stringing video. So you can go, I'll, I'll post a link right now to that so you can see, see how that works. Let's see what I'm doing. And then we can stand our bridge up under here. Then we gotta figure out where our bridge goes, but we'll do that in a little bit. Got one string down, got the rest of them to go. So I'll go ahead and uh, get the rest of them done. All right, so at this point, we just need to put our armrest back on, and I'm gonna do that. Then we'll tune up, we'll tighten the head a little bit, and we'll see how it sounds. Okay, so the armrest is back on. We just need to tune up. You can use an electronic tuner, you can tune it to your piano, you can just tune it by ear, however you want to do it. I'm going to use an electronic tuner to see if I can get somewhere. After you get it kind of tuned up a little bit, doesn't have to be in perfect tune, look at it, feel the tension of the head. This head is pretty loose. So I'm going to go around it a couple of times and just get it tightened up a little bit. And I try to eyeball it as I go around to make sure that, you know, I don't have one side or one bracket tighter than the other. So you can just use your eye and do it. And so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go around about a half a turn. It's easier to go 
less than it is to go too much. With, the, with this bracket hook, it's kind of easy to tell how far I've gone. And I'm doing the same on every one of them, so hopefully that'll keep the head fairly level and the tension fairly even. Now, I know there's a lot of you guys that say, you know, you need to, you need to go, you know, in a star pattern. I've never done that. Uh, I've always just gone from one and just go around the clock here. Uh, you can do a star pattern if you want. I could never remember where I was if I did that. So at least this way I can go one and then the other. a little tighter. I'm going to go around another half turn and then we're going to tune up again and see what it sounds like. Take your time. There is, there's no rush. Take your time. Your head will loosen up after, after a little while. So just there, that's pretty tight. Now we're gonna tune up again. We gotta put our bridge in the right place. That's pretty close. You can measure. I like to just do it by ear. So I'll fret the, play a note if that's in tune. And if that, so you get my note in tune and then, and then fret. So that's pretty close. I just, Total accident there. So there you have it. We have a uh, brand new head, new bridge, new strings, and a new tailpiece. And this is something that you can do, I promise you. Just take your time, there's no rush. Just make small adjustments and it's gonna be just fine. See y'all next time. Bye.